what's up everybody welcome back to my channel <laughs> places in my house in my room my closet <laughs> today if you read the title which i know you did which is why you're here i'm going to be doing a collective haul of all of the pieces that i recently purchased i purchased a lot in august so baby pockets pockets is looking like dry <laughs> So, I'm going to start off with the most items that I have and one of my favorite things to buy, which is shoes. <laughs> I love shoes. So, some of these pieces you've probably seen me worn on my Instagram recently. If you're not following me, of course, what are you doing? You need to follow me, the Dear Danielle, on Instagram. This The first item is huge and I literally just wore it. I'm gonna post a picture. I literally just wore these. Love, 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 love them. When I first seen these items, I didn't think that I would like them like that. But when I started seeing them on other people, I'm like, yo, those are cute. I gotta get those. Me, like, I keep a couple pieces to tuck for real. I literally have a couple of pieces like that I rarely wear, or I have to take a picture in, or like I'll just save until like a specific time when I'm like, okay, yeah, I could, I could thug these out. I could wear them. <laughs> it's the Balenciaga Croc Rubber Boot 2. They just came out with a different colorway. They came out with the hot pink ones and girl, those are fire. I, I'm really starting to love pink, but I need to stay away from her. She's bad to me. I get pink in everything. I, I get so much pink stuff. Super comfortable. I got these in a size 36, which is my true size. But if you want and you like your, your shoes like to fit exact, I will go a half size down because they are a little big. They're not like floppy, but you know, they don't fit exact, which is cool or whatever. They each came in their own duster. And I think I got these on mod sense i think mod cena i forgot what the site is called but it's like one of those sites like farfetch or essence and stuff like that came like this fire i got them in this like Bottega green green is like so popping right now so super easy to clean super easy to walk in super comfortable lightweight you could dress them up you could dress them down you could dress them however you want to dress them there's the sole of them side front they have this emboss of Balenciaga right here on the inside it says Balenciaga on the back it tells which shoe size you are which i'm a 36 fancy construction worker boots when my mom seen this boot she was like what you doing with those ugly things why they came in that big old box mom it's called drip and i ain't got nothing for sale so <laughs> and these i believe well i paid like 7 16 7 30 with shipping and um tax so i kind of got them on like a sale Okay, so my next piece is one of my favorites. I've always seen these. I wasn't necessarily interested in buying these at first because I have wide feet and I thought that these shoes would look bad on me because I got wide feet, but they look so sexy. And they are Tom Ford Satin and Naked Padlock Heels. And I paid $1,145 for these. I got these off of Forward. Every time I literally 
go on forward, I'm always using their discount. And Farfetch as well. With this, they come with extra pair of the heel bottom, a duster, come back up like this. I have wide feet, like I was saying. I got these in a half size up, so I got them in 36 and a half. I personally thought it was going to probably be like a little big when I looked at it, but this fit perfect. I got them in this fire aqua color. They come like this. I still haven't taken like the plastic off of them. So you can see classic Tom Ford along the inner sole. The back looks, you know, sleek. Um, they feel really good quality, honestly. They feel I'm um, a little heavy. Maybe it's the padlocks. So of course they go like this. If you're classic gold padlock on the side it goes up to the ankle the strap hooks around the ankle and it has adjustable straps if you got cankles like me bitch you can adjust your straps <laughs> of course you know it has the pointed toe pointed toe is what i was really afraid of because i didn't know that it would you know if it would look nice but the toes is they look sexy in these so on to our next purchase this one is from Dior Dior so this one was like wrapped up differently you know they had like the strings whatever and the tassel with the star the gold star if I find a picture I'll, I'll post it in here but it was wrapped up really cute you know that's Dior though you know you have your card and it comes in here which just has like your information of what you bought and the cost and stuff like that so the Dior Revolution slides. I got my exact size was a size 36. Um, box you have like you know classic to your box, and then this is the slide that I got. I got it. I got it in 280 orange fluorescent. It's a size 36, so it comes with your duster bag. I had this attached to it like this on the top, but of course I took them off so I could see the size. Now these sandals are worth well maybe not but then again they are <laughs> they are worth every freaking penny when i tell you i have these in navy blue comfortable these like you just throw them on you slide them on you know so i got them in this beautiful orange color you see the sole it has the dior label it has the star um it has your your sizing on it so it's a size 36 the front it has these pretty these really pretty like fluffs on it like it gives it like this 3d effect and then you have your classic velcro strap that is very adjustable so people like me that have wide feet or if you have super um, slim feet you can actually buy these shoes and feel really comfortable and wearing them they made it like really like any size friendly so that's what i really love about these sandals of course they're like a rubber material you could get them easy like you could easily clean them um the only thing like when when i notice about my navy blue ones is like the top gets a little dirty it's kind of like you know difficult but if you like wipe it down with the right materials you'll be able to um you know take it off and i also um, well, also, you can see in the inner sole, you see the Christian Dior label on it. It says Christian Dior, as well as um, Christian Dior Paris, as well as these are super easy to clean. When a lot of people get sandals, you know, they footprint, like they be looking dirty and cringy. But for these, they're going to be super easy for you to clean. So if you want them, you should go get them. And I believe they retail for $9.95. And I got these on the Dior site. And I think it roughly went up to like $1,175 or something like that. Let me, let me see. Wrong. These were $6.70. Yeah, so I paid $670 for these. So the next pair of shoes that I got are another pair of Dior's. These are actually sneakers. Hey, I'm sorry if there's noise in the background. It's my mom's birthday and um, our family's of Dior's like men collection. I'm not sure if they have them in women as well. But um, when Dior dropped these, they only came out in like one set size so they ran from the smallest size on up to the biggest size so it wasn't necessarily necessarily considered men or women or that's what the sales associate told me picked up the only size that they had 
in my size in the store and it's the only size it's the only colorway and it really wasn't technically my size um these are a whole size up they fit like just a little bit big but it's not too bad because when i wear like socks they fit perfect but if i don't have socks on they're like just a little bit but these are the dior calfskin b22s i like this box because it's a little bit different of course it's like blue i believe all men on Dior's come in like this blue box and of course you know it's textured um, right here it has an opening for the top of the box and you can see exactly what the, the product you got is um, of course right here it says the, the price which is these are 1300 nothing too special about the inside of the box um, you just have your sneakers so these are the sneakers as you see on the side on the lower frame it says Dior. The colorway is white with reflective. All of this right here is reflective, white and gray. It has a gummy bottom. The soles are black and white on the bottom. When, and they have CD, of course. And it says made in Italy. Inner portion of the, the shoe, you see reflective. These are kind of heavy, so you know that they're like great in quality. But when you're wearing them, they feel super light and super comfortable. I have my Alexander McQueen's The Back. The back be eating up my Achilles heel. I'm kind of glad that I got a 37 because I know if I got them super tight that the back, my the back of my heel, go inside on the top of the tongue. Serial number. But the inside, so it says the your inside and it's white. I love when um, guys wear these shoes. Like they look so super dope on them. So I'm like, yo, why not? Okay, the next pair of shoes I got are these Balenciagas. And of course, if you haven't, like, guessed by now, like, I really love Balenciaga. It just gives me that streetwear but sexy. I could dress it up. I could dress it down. I could have fun with Balenciaga pieces. And I just, I, I, I freaking love Balenciaga. So I went to Saks and Ball Harbor. I picked up those sneakers. Um i seen these on the women's on the women's level which is the first floor and i was like yo i have to have these um these are 825 dollars they are called the hourglass sandal i got them in the color fluorescent yellow and black on the box it says it has a picture of what your shoe actually looks like inside um price it also has where it's made from barcode and the size that you got it in i got mine in i think a 36 and a half so the inside of the box of course you know just wrapped up in all this shit and i actually stepped out in these last night for the first time like i literally they just came yesterday and i literally just stepped out in them comes with i think it came with two dusted bags but i was so drunk last night i just came in just threw them in the box and went to bed so let me hook them up for you guys they were just super freaking different when I seen them. And like this yellow is fire. The heel goes all the way down to this point. And of course it's like sandal style. It has a round toe. I don't get to see this style of shoe or this style of toe a lot. A lot of companies are doing either square or pointed. So this like round toe was very, very, very different. Of course the inside sole is black. You have Balenciaga towards the heel. And the bottom, it says be big, standing for Balenciaga. And the back, you have, of course, Balenciaga, the size, which this is a 36 and a half, and made in Italy. I don't know why I keep... <laughs> so, yeah, on the strap, these are really, 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 really different. So, they come in like this, to call this, but it's not a normal buckle. You just literally take them off, and you can adjust your size to however you want with this you could go like this you go i thought that was so futuristic so retro so different as well as you could do the same for the the top of the shoe i felt like these were really like my style when i seen them they also come i want to say they come in a blue but i when i went to Saks, they had they had this color as well as um this style shoe in black and white but 
this color pops this neon color pops of course you know right now and in the summertime neons is like really dope i don't know what i'm gonna do when it comes down to the winter time but i feel like neon is a color you could wear in any any season because it's just like red it just gives that pop it's 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 fire you could wear it's like when you're wearing an all black outfit or like any kind of outfit and you just have these pops of colors like it's it's pretty fire so it's not really like it is more summertime and springtime but i know for me especially because i live in miami florida I could wear these any any season baby honestly i also felt like these were like so urban but so chic at the same time so like i could have like a really chill outfit on and i could definitely dress like a chill or a graphic tee or you know like something urban streetwear like on and i could just throw these on and it's just gonna make the outfit even more fire so yeah so the next pair of shoes i got is another balenciaga pair of shoes but this time these are sandals on the box on this box it doesn't have anything written on it to determine what type of shoe that you actually have um, that's that of course on the front you have the classic gray box with the black balenciaga logo and right in on the top these shoes are not nothing really fancy or anything. I just really needed some pull shoes to make it designer. Inside, of course, looks like this. I got these from Bloomingdale's. I really don't remember how much they cost, and I definitely don't remember. So these are called the Balenciaga Chunky Slides, and they cost $4.95 before tax. Just really simple, cute, gray slides. Um... I got this for a specific bathing suit that I was going to wear when I was going out of town. I never got to wear them. On the top, of course, just like any slides around Balenciaga, it says Balenciaga on the top. The sole of it is just gray. Nothing too special about that. The back of it, it says Balenciaga. Um, on the sole, it says Balenciaga with diagonal lines. I got these in a size 36. Next pair of shoes, I really didn't know if I, I don't, I still don't know if I really want, want to keep them, but I love these shoes. They kind of remind me of like goof, the true goofy type of shoes or whatever. Um, but they are the Marnie's. Money on, money on me. Money on, money on, money on me. I love this box. This box is so beautiful i love the color coordination of this like it's like a brown but an orange but a peach and then it gradients up to this like nice pistachio green color and then you have this pretty light cream nude on the top with marnie on it with of course in red then on the side you have the details of your shoe with the barcode and everything. Uh, tobacco. And these are the, I want, I don't want to say these wrong, but these are the Fusbe. Fusbe? Yeah, so these are the Marnie Brown Fus, Fusbe, or Fusbe, Sabot Loafer Mules. Mine off Essence and they were on sale for $518. And yeah, of course, you know, that's that sale price. With these bad boys, I recommend you go a half size down or a whole size down because they too fit big. And when I say that, I mean don't es estimate that, okay? And they're wide feet friendly, so... So of course the inside, as you see, it comes with a regular wrapping paper. It comes with two duster bags. Just like Marnie's style, you know, it comes with these. Feel like you could just recycle them. 
and they smell so freaking good so they come with these marnie duster bags marnie gives me that Tulum vibe that vacation vibe it, it gives me a relaxed vibe so you know this is calf fur it feels so super soft so soft and it looks really full and thick on it i got it in this chocolate brown color because i was getting this crochet racer back top that had like brown it was from Gianni and unfortunately i think my package got um lost in fedex mail so i never got the shirt so i'm really debating if i still want these shoes because like you just can't wear these shoes in my opinion you just can't just wear them like you have to really like funk these the way that you need to funk them same specifically with this color too because with the other colors you could really get you could get you could get groovy with them like you could rock it however you want to kind of but with this brown color they're not really like a popping or a statement color like the fuchsia like that fuchsia pink or that green that they have or even the yellows so with this brown being kind of like basic color um, I'm really debating on if I really want these still or not. But, of course, you know, they're Marnie, Marnie Mules loafers. And in the inner sole right here, it's just black and it says Marnie on it. You could get a detailed shot. Um, on the back of it, it just has this plain black sole. In the middle, it has Marnie and your size. So, I got a 35 and a half. So, I went like, I don't know if I'm a... If I'm a six and a half or a six now, I don't know, but I'm, I'm leaning towards more like I'm a six, a six and a half. So for me, this would be like a whole size down to get a 35 and a half. And they fit so comfortably. They're really comfortable, really easy to walk in. Um, a really, really good and comfortable shoe. Very much a statement piece. You might want to just add these into your your collection now do i feel like these shoes are gonna like last forever and just stick around forever hmm, maybe maybe not but even if they do you can still rock these and they're a vibe you know even if the trend dies down these still are a freaking vibe now with them are going on sale right now so if you want you some marnies go get you some marnies because i i i, I would say that like kind of limited because I didn't really get to see a lot of colors in what I wanted. Or maybe I just didn't see them in, on sale. Because I definitely wasn't paying $800 for these. No. Are you there with me still? I noticed a lot. We got just two more shoes to go through. And then we'll move on to the next category of clothing. So the next pair of shoes that I got are some Nike Dunks. And of course it's just a classic Nike box. With the flap over, over box. And of course, on this side, I got a size four. You get your details of what shoe that you got. I got the Nike Dunk Low in gray schools. And these are the, can you, can you take a walk in? These are the chlorophyll. Of course, inside you got the random paper. I bought these on StockX. So StockX gives you order receipt like this. So these are the Nike Dunk Low chlorophylls grade schools. And with tax and shipping and processing all them damn fees <laughs> on top of how much they actually cost them um it was 178 dollars and 19 cents and they're just this fire just green colorway i love this color green this green is so in and of course whenever it's authenticated by stock x you get the stock x um logo so of course you know the sole you have the green so classic nike dunk soles on the top they came with white laces round toe around the bottom you have that nice dark green and then it goes up to this white this fire white with the dark green up against the toe area and the back heel then in between you have like this olive green pistachio green like it's just fire the white nike check on both sides oh these are a shoe on the tongue you have the gradient of the the light green all I'm wearing this with a fire graphic some gray sweat pants a fire ass bag 
yo these are a freaking shoe and i love dunks and to be honest i really i have a lot of dunks but i don't have a lot i have a couple pairs of dunks but i don't really like dunks like that because they accent my my freaking cankles and i hate it but when i tried these on i was like i'm in love these are fire they 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 the aesthetics is there when i put them on so last pair of shoes I had these for a while just like the balenciaga chunky slides but um i only wore them once and these are some espadrues from saint laurent and it's just a, a classic small black box with the flap over um top on the side you have your details of your shoe um and these i got a size 36 and i honestly could have got a th size 36 six and a half because they're a little tight but you know they're still fire um and these retailed for 595 dollars i wonder how much i'm up at this point probably like over a thousand dollars definitely over a thousand dollars so the inside you have your black tissue paper and you get a black saint laurent duster of course these are like your classic espadrilles they have the the woven um so the size you got the woven size and they have this like really nice off-white cream color throughout it and the inside of the sole it's black which i love that they didn't do it white it's black it's so freaking classic these these shoes are a classy shoe if you do not have a pair of espadrilles in your closet i don't know what you're doing as a woman because you need a pair of espadrilles when you don't want to be like espadrilles give me like that office vibe or if you want to do brunch and you don't want to wear heels or you're just going out for a you know just for you know a cute little outing you're gonna go shopping or something i definitely put some espadrilles on i love wearing espadrilles when i'm going out of the country um you know just a little daytime or nighttime kind of shoe and you don't want to put on heels but you still want to look classy sophisticated you could put a blazer on you know you know side it also tells you that it's made from made in spain it has its code its serial number and of course the size with these which these are size 36 the next portion i'm gonna go into is clothes and i'm trying to just speed right through these so this is this rich royal blue crossover back bodysuit one piece monokini on the back straps it has off white in this gray so um those chunky balenciaga shoes i was gonna wear with this um i love the detail of the off-white emblem on the side it's kind of thongy thongy but not so much and it just gives me like that old school babe watch but modern and designer feel the material is nylon and it just feels so good and you look really really sexy it kind of makes you more curvaceous and you're you know you're doing your big one without even really like doing your big one um and i got this on farfetch and i got it on sale and i want to say it was like a hundred and something dollars i can't remember exactly because i bought it a while ago it's like maybe like 180 dollars i bought these this nike bra sports bra because i'm going to costa rica tomorrow and we're gonna do like an adventure kind of part so i wanted to have i actually bought an outfit on dolik i think that's how you spell it but it won't be here in time unfortunately so i had to do an alternative i bought this nike hat to go with it and i also bought these nike sh <laughs> i got these off of amazon quick shipping um the hat was like twenty dollars the shorts were like the shorts were thirty dollars and the bra mm, sports bra was around that same price i don't remember and i don't like looking next closing piece that i got is this dress you've probably seen a lot of people wearing it with this like i call it the ostrich top like it's so freaking cute it's probably not ostrich but 
I love it. It cinches in at the side, so it kind of gives you some curve and some waist. You know, it's not just straight up and down. And I love when designers do that. This is from the designer King of Styles, and he had like a promotion code uh, for these. So I think this is either two hundred or one hundred and eighty dollars. Came very very fast. It came from Atlanta because he stays in Atlanta, and I didn't think like he was gonna actually send it. You know, like when people have. I, I, just, I don't want to say anything negative, but I just didn't know that he was going to send it. But I really love it, love it, love it. And I'm going to wear these with my Tom Ford padlock heels. This clothing piece is, I got this from Zara. They're just like pants. And they go down like this, wide legs. And these I am also going to wear in Costa Rica. And I'm going to color block. These come actually like in a set. So it comes like with this pants and like a long, I want to say a long sleeve shirt. But I'm like, I'm not a set kind of girl. If I do ever get a set, I'm always wearing the pieces with something else. I probably do sometimes. But I hate wearing sets. I, 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 I don't like wearing sets. Maybe. You'll rarely see me in a set. I'm going to rock it. Like with this so freaking cute i might as well just show you like the whole outfit idea right now these shades off of Saks off fifth they were on sale buy one get one 50 off and they're emilio poochies of course okay you got the purple case emblem says um, emilio's poochie the box is textured and these are freaking fire i did not know that i was gonna like it because i don't know i just i'm really iffy when it comes down to shades but i freaking love them especially with this outfit i'm like i didn't even know that i just went to sarah and just like seen it i'm just like i'm getting those and i'm getting that and i for completely forgot that i bought these emilio poochies and they go so fire the fit is so fire with the shades on like i'm doing it it says 360 dollars market price but i think they were minus i i don't think they were 360 dollars it says i saved 80 dollars so i don't remember exactly how much they cost but it, it, they were roughly cheap they came off sacks off it my next item is from a local designer and his name is style by terry is a fire creative director um conceptualist um stylist like he's i just can't even call him a stylist because like he does he does way more than that this was one of his i want to say spring or summer collection dropped one of his dresses that he dropped with one of his recent collections and of course um it's terry terry lee stop by terry lee I don't remember how much i paid for this um i had to be like 200 dollars, but love the details do y'all peep the details he has his freaking name on the dress as the dress fire 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 i love this neon um I definitely would not pair this with the Yaga. I have no clue what I'm going to pair. I've had this in the tuck for a little minute. I just don't know exactly what I'm going to wear it with. Um, so, we'll see about that. My next item came from Alexander Wang. And this is a bikini top. And I don't remember how much I paid for it. But it's a bikini top. And I'm definitely not going to be wearing it like a bikini top. <laughs> I'm going to be wearing it like more so like a bralette. You know? this color blue and you have like the wang the wang detail on one of the bra straps be really, really secure but these in the middle are pretty movable but they're not going to go anywhere because the other two are pretty sold down middle of your two bras is the a for alexander and then it kind of has that racer back feel i'm gonna wear it like it's a bralette wear it as a bikini too but i think i just want to wear this bralette so this next dress i bought was from off of essence and it's this beautiful purple dress from oh, i know i'm gonna butcher the name Gia got gima gias gima gias i am so sorry i just i think it's so cute but i'm sorry if i'm not pronouncing it right 
it was so nice and so soft and you could tell like it's a really good material i believe it was on sale on essence for 200 dollars you know i had the snagger um i love this purple and i'm really getting into more colors because i used to be like a dark girl <laughs> so just blacks um that was pretty much it but i love 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 mixing and matching different colors and this is also gonna go with me to costa rica i believe i went to aritzia and i picked up two pieces one of the pieces is this very cute rib knit cropped t-shirt love the structure on this it's, it's it's heavy so you know that you're gonna be able to wear this in the fall and the winter time love this green you know i'm into this Bottega green color it's so freaking fire so Aritzia knows how to get in my pockets so as an alternative to the racerback crochet Gianni shirt that i was gonna wear i bought this um, and I seen Jada Wera wear something flowy like this with her Marnie's and um, so I was gonna wear this top and I'm I have this shirt to go underneath I'm gonna show you that next but I bought these fire they're called a golding pants relax straight leg asymmetrical jeans light washed from aritzia they're like your boyfriend jeans they're so freaking fire i love them but are these boyfriend or are these mom jeans i don't remember they're somebody jeans they're not a girlfriend jean know that but i'm not sure if i really like this top it's it's, it's okay also got this shirt i have this shirt as well as in white and i really love this so much when i first got it it was really hard for me to understand how to put it on but once i got it i i fell in love with this shirt and this is from pretty little things it's in this very beautiful purple color a soft color soft purple color so yeah i also got this this was from Zara in white and i was gonna wear it with those asymmetrical jeans and that flowy top but i don't know we're almost done i hope you guys i hope you guys are really enjoying this haul if you guys are interested in any of the pieces dm me or message me if you want to know the quality how i liked it did it rip did it stay put was it good was it a bad purchase let me know um if you guys like some of the pieces comment down below what pieces that you want to add into your closet and some of the pieces you could have left out on to my last category, which is going to be my bags. I had to, had to, had to, had to, had to, had to hit up Marnie Market. And Marnie on, Marnie on me. Marnie on, I cannot not sing that song whenever I hear Marnie. I got this cute crochet or crochet knitted. I don't know. Crochet uh, woven bag from Marnie Market. Um, she does whatever she wants to do. Uh, just depict it on. And it actually came bigger than I thought it would. When I was starting to shop for my Costa Rica trip, this was definitely my number one piece that I was like, I had to get. This was the first piece that I bought um, when I went to go shopping. This one started the shopping spree. This one, this her, she, she did it. So it's like this rich blue color against this brown and this, of course, black, which is a staple piece for Marnie, like, like the pop out tag or whatever like you know next bag is one of these glitter bling bag and i'm also gonna wear it with my emilio pucci shades with that outfit from zara i just randomly bought this because i love getting the bling bag so i decided like hey girlie you need, to, you need a grape in your collection why not it comes also with the strap and it opens up like this you can literally fit a chicken nugget inside of it and that is it and that is all snapped like that it's mag magnetic you could wear her like that i never seen anybody wear their bags like this but they're usually like a hand like you hold it in your hand you you're like really delicate or you hold it as a clutch and these actually come off as well if you don't want them to be on your bag while you're using it and i got 
that one like it was like a hundred dollars on amazon as well as i got this one's so like 80 87 dollars on amazon and this is gonna go with my king of styles dress with the ostrich hair top i think this is gonna be so freaking cute with it because it's gonna, it's gonna be like a classy look no she's gonna be a clutch of course just like the other one i showed you you can literally fit a chicken nugget in it it has the straps these straps look a little bit longer yeah this is the straps but she's going to be worn as a clutch so the straps are an unnecessary to me they also come with extra rhinestones in it you can see like the details detail shot my final and last accessory is coming from dior she was wrapped up in you know all the toolies and stuff like that but it's a scarf basically scarf i'm gonna wear this of course with the sandals that i got it's a reversible got it this this is a beautiful orange so as you can see it has the christian dior logo on that side as well as the other ending side and on the other side it um, it has their beautiful like this is the um, the print that they have all of these like orange collection on them. Um, so this is a beautiful print it's a beautiful scarf so that is it for me today i hope you guys really enjoyed my clothing haul and seeing me blow a bag on foolishness that i love i love clothes i have been a fashionista since i don't know since i was a kid <laughs> um i'm not new to this i'm true to this but the cheesy shit so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did miss me give me a thumbs up subscribe make sure when you subscribe you turn on all your post notifications so you're never missing a video because unfortunately i could go miss it sometimes so when i drop and i drop randomly you gonna want to know so i hope you guys have a beautiful day night weekend year whenever you're watching this video leave me a comment below let me know what pieces that you like what pieces you have what pieces that you incorporate it into your closet after watching this video also go over to my other social media networks follow me on instagram at nadir danielle as well as don't forget to subscribe to my business youtube which is billion blinks you can also check me out on my business instagram the billion experience where i do eyelash extensions i have another eyelash artist and i also have two makeup artists that are in my salon you guys should check them out as well enough rambling on i hope you guys enjoyed this content let me know let me know and if you want to see more stuff from me force me into doing it Hit me up. Stalk me. Blow me up. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. When you make it, it ain't no screw tape. Screw tape. Screw tape. Screw tape.